Good afternoon, DC. I'm Price. And I'm Malcolm. And today is Thursday, September 14th. And here's the news. NHS applications are being accepted through Friday, September 15th. Students who enjoy public speaking, acting, reading aloud, the DCHS speech and drama team need you. The team will hold an informational meeting on Monday, September 18th at 3.30 in room 110. Students will get an overview of what the team does, events in which one can compete, and information regarding trials. Those who need more information can contact Ms. Karen Felthouse. Attention seniors, be sure to look on the wall outside guidance to see which bus you will be riding for the college fair at KWC on Wednesday, September 20th. Now stay tuned for a word from the CEC Club. Good morning, DC. I'm Miss Oz. I'm Coach Curry. Hey, and I'm Coach Wallace. Here to give you an update, DC. We've raised over $800 that's to eight. help in the Hurricane Relief Fund. Hey, that's a great job, DC. Way to come together. And let's keep this thing going. Yes. So, Friday the 15th, this Friday, listen up, students, staff, teachers, listen up. This Friday, you are going to have the opportunity to wear any hat that you want to. Yes, any hat you want to. You pay $1 at any of the doors, any of the entrances, we're gonna have students there collecting a dollar. You'll get a sticker. You get to wear the hat. How long? All, All day. day long. All day. All day. Don't forget this, it goes to a great cause. So it's for the hurricane. Everyone has lost, so many people have lost everything. So let's pull together again, DC, and let's Rise above. Let's rise above. Do you like to make art, take photos, or create jewelry? There is a free art competition for high school students taking place at Town Square Mall. There are cash prizes for first, second, third, and fourth place. A number of our DCHS students are entering art pieces in the art festival taking place at Town Square Mall this Saturday from 12 to 6 p.m. The award ceremony will take place around 4 o'clock. About 20 pieces will be on display in one of the storefront windows until early October from 12 to 6 p.m. The award ceremony will take place around 4 o'clock. About 20 pieces will be on display in one of the storefront windows until early October. If you are interested, please contact one of the art teachers, Mr. Norris, Mr. Fitzmorris, or Mr. Casebolt as soon as possible. Key Club will be meeting this Friday during Club Day in room 120. This will be the induction ceremony for new members. All members are expected to be here as well. Western Kentucky University is wanting to feature junior and senior DCHS students in their Scholar of the Weekend segment. Students will be featured in Western's <laughs> news and entered to win a $1,000 scholarship to WKU. Applications available at www.wku.edu slash honors slash scholar and are due by September 22nd, 2017. If you have any questions, stop into guidance for assistance. FCA will see you at the poll on September 27th. See you at the poll will be held in the courtyard from 7.30 to 8 a.m. All students are welcome to attend. Current members of the National Honor Society will meet Thursday at 7.45 I'll stay tuned for this week's episode of Kicking with Pitt. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the second edition of my segment on the news. I'm really glad that we did not get canceled this week after last week. So, Coach Hall, thank you for letting us do this again. This is fantastic. Great way for us to get some information out to our kids. So, um, here's – I said kids. I don't mean kids. I mean – Young adults, young adults, sorry, forgive me. So this is going to be an important week for us. we got a lot of stuff coming up, um, and this is going to kind of be a long edition of this because i got some incredible stuff I want to talk to you about. Yesterday I had the opportunity to do some factory tours uh, it, with a partnership with the Owensboro Chamber of Commerce. Man, I'm telling you what, for those of you that are – interested in going straight into the workforce or maybe pursuing a technical degree as we move forward with uh, your individualized plan. There are some really incredible opportunities out here in Owensboro for you all to move straight into the workforce and start making a lot of money doing some really great stuff, really cool stuff. Saw a lot of robots doing some crazy, incredible, cool things yesterday um, on my visit to Matulsa. There's some just awesome opportunity. So for those of you that are not interested in going to college or maybe interested in a technical degree or maybe just going straight into the workforce, please come talk to me. I'm so excited to share these opportunities with you. The other things that I want to talk to you about um, are 
Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, uh, Vanderbilt University is going to be here at 8 a.m. here in my room in the CCR Center. They're going to be here if you're interested in talking to them. Campbellsville will also be here Tuesday during lunch. They're going to set up in the lobby. And Hanover will be here during CCR here in my room if you're interested in coming and talking to them. On Wednesday, we got a big day for seniors. That's the Senior College Fair at Kentucky Wesleyan College. We're all going to get on buses. We're all going to travel to Kentucky Wesleyan so that we can uh, visit that college fair. And you need to be seniors. You need to be looking outside the guidance office for the bus list so that you can start getting an idea of what uh, Wednesday is going to look like for you. Now next Friday, sophomores, this is going to be a big day for you because we are visiting OCTC and doing a campus tour over there, listening to some cool opportunities that they have for us as we move forward. So we're going to split into two groups and you'll get a little bit more information uh, about that early next week. So we're looking forward to all of those things. The other thing I want to mention is for uh, those of you that might be interested in going on our Kids on Campus tour to Kentucky Wesleyan College, we have an permission slip and uh, info sheet that you can pick up from me if you haven't already gotten it. You need to be really selective though on which uh, kids on campus trips you want to visit because the kids on campus trips are different seniors than the excused college visit days that you get. These are where we take you to different campuses. So if you have an interest in visiting some campuses, you might be able to jump on a bus with us. That would be great. But you're not going to be frequent flyers. You're not going to be like, hey, I'm going to all six or seven kids on campus trips because it would be great to get out of school all those days. Not going to happen, not going to happen, not going to happen. So be really selective on um, what you're which ones you're picking to go on. The other thing is that form is going to be due to me no later, no later than noon on Thursday, September 21st. And here's a big one right here on that permission slip. It says, if this student has a D or an F in their classes, do not sign this permission slip, teachers. So we are not going to be having you not doing well in your classes and then going on our kids on campus visits because here's a big thing. You've got to graduate from high school before you can start thinking about college. So anyway, just in wrapping up, really excited about the opportunities that we have available to all of you all, whether that's college, whether that's career, whether that's military, we're getting it, we're getting it done, we're getting it taken care of. So come by anytime, talk to me. Looking forward to working with you. Have a great day, have a great week, have a great weekend, and go Panthers. PSAT signups are now available. The PSAT slash NMSQT will be administered at DCHS on October 25th. This is the test whereby juniors can qualify for the National Merit Scholarships. Any college-bound junior or sophomore is encouraged to sign up in the guidance office with Ms. Leisner. The cost for the test is $16 and checks can be made payable to DCHS. The deadline to sign up is October 17th. Reminder, mark your calendars for our upcoming junior parent meeting in the cafeteria before the open house on Monday, September 18th at 515 in the cafeteria. Come to learn about important events such as the PSAT and Governor Scholar Program, as well as a few college exploration tips. We look forward to seeing you there. All right, attention juniors, we have many events coming up for you. First is the junior parent night before the open house on Monday in the cafeteria. I will be giving you information about events this year as well as how to prepare for next year. Next up is the PSAT coming on October 25th. Sign up in guidance with $16 or you can give it to Mrs. Leisner. This is how you qualify for the National Merit and College Board Scholarships as well as if you're interested in applying for the Governor Scholars Program, these scores can be used for that as well. And Captain Pippin here. So I have another quick message for seniors. This week, Friday, uh, before club day, during Advocates, I'm going to be sending out to your teachers a senior survey. It's very, very important that you fill this out. Let me repeat that. It's very, very important that you fill this out. What it's going to do is it's going to allow us to start um, creating an individualized plan for you guys on what comes next in your life, whether that's college, whether that's career, whether that's military. It gives us the chance to see exactly what you're looking for and exactly what your plans are and then it gives us the chance to start working to make that happen. So we're excited. So please, 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 please. Friday, 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 during Advocate Time before Club Day, fill that survey out and I would greatly appreciate it. So have a good day and go Panthers. If you're taking Latin at any time of the school year, JCL memberships are now available. 
The $15 membership fee includes local, state, and national dues and this year's t-shirt. Also available on a first come, first serve basis, your choice of JCL sticker or pencil. See Ms. Trafisi in room 201 for any details and to pay your dues. Plan to join us on September 15th for club day in room 201. If you are interested in going on a spring break trip to Rome and Athens, there will be an informational meeting on September 18th at the conclusion of Open House. If you would like more information, please see Mr. Easley in room 213. Any sophomore or junior student is eligible to apply for the AYL Academy of Young Leaders. They are now accepting applications by tomorrow, September 15th, for students interested in building leadership skills, developing friendships, and making an impact on our community. We encourage you to apply at dcps.org under the Students tab. Attention junior parents, mark your calendars for our upcoming junior parent meeting before the open house on Monday, September 18th at 5.15 in the cafeteria. Come early to learn about important events such as the PSAT and Governor's Scholarship Program, as well as the college exploration tips. We can't wait to see you there. Remember that the CEC Club is still collecting money for Hurricane Harvey victims. Emerge Next Program for freshmen will be hosted at the Wendell H. Ford Government Education Center. It is a nonpartisan three-day program focused on identifying, educating, and engaging young leaders and servant leadership in order to make a positive impact on their community. Emerge Next will introduce young leaders to a variety of issues that impact the greater Owensboro region and the Commonwealth of Kentucky, with a particular focus on developing leadership skills, working together, and learning to compromise to solve problems. Students may apply online at FordGovCenter.com under the Apply Now tab and choose the Emerge Next application. The deadline to submit completed applications is Friday, September 15th. If you are in Spanish 3 at any point this year and are interested in being a part of the Spanish Honor Society, please see Miss Larson in room 203 for an application. Applications are due by September 15th. Here's what's going on today at DC. Freshman football is taking out Central Harden starting at 6 p.m. The Panthers soccer is traveling to take on Owensboro starting with the JV at 6 o'clock p.m. followed by the varsity at 7.30 p.m. And the Lady Panthers soccer team is taking on Evansville north of JV starting at 6, followed by Varsity starting at 7.30. Stay classy.